the devil was here beside me, shouting at me to kill myself. And just before the train comes, I, I get a phone call. And I look at, at the phone, and it's my big brother. And he said, Sebastian, go home, pack your bag. We paid for a rehab for you. You're going to get help. And today, everything is going to turn for you. The train went by. And then I looked up to heaven, you know, and I knew for the first time in my life that there was a God. If it was two people that nobody believed it were ever going to be good people, it's, it was me and Betsy. Two police cars just came, like we missed each other like this, and they turned around and stopped chasing. This is the spot. Oh, the bank is still there. <laughs> All right. Okay. This is the first place I robbed my first bank. There's a lot of money in those in those banks too. This is one of the biggest banks in Stockholm. Robbing a bank is like one of the biggest things you can do, I think, as a man. The energy rush was crazy because you, you were in control. It brings up some old memories. Old memories. Sweden is a secular country, but today we see a lot of darkness and the people are also open for God these days. People here in Sweden really are open for a change, for faith and for hope. They are seeking for something that they haven't found in drugs, violence and crimes. I was 17 years old, I was a millionaire, you know. I was a specialized armed robber. I got jobs like every week because I was fearless, you know, I didn't care about my life. Yeah, Betz was very famous among criminals in Stockholm. We were in, in the same crew. We were doing a lot of drugs and crimes together. Crimes in Sweden has skyrocketed. The last decade, shootings among gangs, it's 10 times more than Germany, six times more than England. We have 16 years old running around with guns, shooting each other in the head. Just last week, we had 10 bomb detonations. Yeah, and I believe it's because the Swedish government is very secular and they try to remove God from everything in this country, you know, but, but <laughs> they can't. Everything in the criminal life was normal to me. It was normal that people died. It was normal to go to prison. I didn't think maybe I won't go to prison. I knew I'm gonna end up in prison. Then I knew if somebody comes to kill my life, I'm, bam, 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 I'm gonna kill there. So I just got so numb to death. I, I, I began to see death as a way out. I was standing here. I was just waiting for the train to come, counting the minutes there, looking up to heaven and saying goodbye to everybody. The devil was here beside me, shouting at me to kill myself. And just before the train comes, I, I get a phone call. And I look at, at the phone, and it's my big brother. And he said, Sebastian, go home, pack your bag. We paid for a rehab for you. You're gonna get help, and today everything is gonna turn for you. And the train went by. And then I looked up to heaven, you know, and I knew for the first time in my life that there was a God. If it was two people that nobody believed it were ever gonna be good people, it's, it was me and Betsy. I was in jail and uh, Sebastian wrote me a letter and I can see in, in the letter, this is not the same, same Sebastian. I heard him find God, you know, and he's decided to leave the crime life and I got very happy. Three days before I was uh, to get released from jail, I was sitting in my cell, I heard this voice. Everything you seek in your life, you will find in me and I love you. I forgive you for all your sins. Three times I heard that. Just one drop of his love, just one drop just changed my whole life. Wow! Hey! Hey! I got invited to national TV. What happened to you, you know? And then I could, I got to preach about Jesus and, and tell the whole country that I'm sorry for what I did, you know? And that became a prototype that opened up for the gospel in, in many places in Sweden. The Swedish prison system wrote the statement that we believe what's happened to Sebastian is genuine, you know. So I started to hear that Betz is back in church because he was like me, he was like one foot here, one foot there. But then I met him and whoa, it's, it's a new person, you know. He was just 
It was just love. This change has been very, very difficult. It's not easy. Many days I wake up, I say, God, for real, why am I doing this, man? You just, can you just take me home right now? I don't need this. I invited him to come with me and, and to preach, and he's still serving a prison sentence. So I talked to his parole officer. So I said, I, I guarantee you that he will not do anything stupid. I could feel struggle inside of me because I was still struggling with the new and the bad. Jag vill bara dra ner det. Han ger dig bara falska saker för att du ska till sen bli en, som en slags virus för andra män. För det kommer aldrig något liv eller det kommer aldrig något, något positivt i våra munnar när vi vandrar i mörkret. Jag av det här och, och många människor, jag var väldigt svår att liksom nå till, förstår ni? För att det, när man, det, som ni alla säkert känner också, det är ingen som fattar mig. In Sweden we can't put the kids in jail, so instead of that they come to us for treatment. They might look young, but they are here because they have serious drug addiction and also because they are doing a lot of violent crimes. They are seeking for something. What we do together, me and Sebastian, we're trying to spread the gospel, guide the people to Jesus, because well, I can see the struggle they're going through. <laughs> All these problems, nobody can fix them, nobody, we got no solutions, you know. But then they see, okay, but this guy, he was one of the worst and now he's doing good stuff. How is that possible? What happened to him? It was Jesus. Okay, maybe Jesus is not so bad. I didn't grow up in the church, so I wasn't bound by the church walls. I thought I was a pioneer. I was like, we're gonna do something that nobody ever has never done before. We're gonna have tent meetings. It inspired a lot of other evangelists to bring out and churches, to bring out the gospel. And thanks to that, many people is hearing about Jesus now and many, many, many people is being saved in Sweden today. Och här står jag och jag, jag kommer tjäna Herren nu resten av mitt liv. Och, och många syskon till mig, så jag vill bara uppmana er att lägga alla storierna till Herren som bär på den här korset. Det vill se mig. We're gonna be accountable for what we did with our task here on, on earth for when we meet God and I want him to, I want a high five and I, and I want him to say good job Sebastian. <laughs>